guys and welcome to another video so as you guys just saw i made my purple smoothie that i made all the time in the summer and it's so good you need to try it if you um like smoothies because this one is so bomb i just put it in this cooler container because i have to leave for class in like five minutes and i knew i wouldn't have enough time to drink it all so i only have one class today normally i would have two classes today but my teacher canceled my second class so i only have um consumer behavior which is a really interesting class we talk a lot about psychology and why people make purchasing decisions that they do and it's a really cool class my teacher's awesome so i'm going to that class i like that class because i get to take notes on my ipad so all i have to take to school today is my ipad and then a book because i want to spend some extra time on campus today getting some readings done for tomorrow because i have a quiz tomorrow in my english class so that is what we're doing today's tuesday we had no school yesterday so um yeah it's a pretty chill start to my week i'll show you guys my outfit really quickly so i'm just wearing this um alabama sweatshirt and it's just really cozy i haven't worn it yet this year underneath that i'm just wearing a little like cropped white t-shirt from h&m and then like always i'm wearing my little adidas shoes <laughs> that i wear to class because i actually really like sneakers um that aren't like sports shoes i have gotten really into them so anyway that is what i'm doing i'm gonna go to class and i'll see you guys on campus Hey guys, so I'm currently in one of the little single person bathrooms because I wanted to update you on my day. I just had my consumer behavior class. It was so interesting because we did this experiment where we had to taste test and guess what water we were drinking based on the least expensive ones and the most expensive ones. And it's actually crazy because I ended up getting them all right, which I don't really know how I did that. I think it honestly is just luck because to be honest, they all tasted exactly the same. So it was just about psychology and how like we think that because something's more expensive, that's why uh, we should buy it. So anyway, super cool. Um, I also read uh, what I had to read for my American literature class because I have a quiz tomorrow. So I read about Benjamin Franklin for that and then um, I have a little bit of reading I have to do for GBA 490 that I have on Thursday but since the class was canceled today I didn't have to do anything for that which is awesome um, so right now I'm trying to figure out what to eat for lunch I think that I'm gonna go to the Ferg or a food truck or something like that um, or maybe I'll just drive somewhere I really have to think about it I don't really feel hungry but I know I need to eat something because it's like almost one o'clock right now and I'm glad I got some work done so yeah that's the update for right now I'm on a mission to find my food Hi guys, so it is a little bit later. It is actually um, around five o'clock. I stayed on campus and studied like I showed you guys and then I had lunch, which was like this little salad folded piadina thing and I came home on the bus and then I sat in my bed and I watched a couple episodes of The Bachelor and comment down below who y'all's favorites are right now. Mine are Hannah G, the one that got the first impression rose and Cassie, I think those are their names, but those are my favorites. 
comment down below yours below um, right now I just changed because I'm going to a little dance class um, as part of this organization that I'm in and I'm really excited so first I'm getting um, an acai bowl as my dinner tonight because I didn't really want anything else nothing else really sounded good and so I'm gonna get an, an acai bowl and then I'm gonna pick my friend up and then we're going to go to the little class and I'm really excited I think it's gonna be a good workout and just fun listening to music doing a dance I'm not much of a dancer but I wanted to try it out and see if it was any fun so that is what I'm doing I'll show you guys what I'm wearing it's really really simple I'm wearing this white top and my lululemon fast and free leggings with my sneakers <laughs> Like always, um, I just wanted to wear something comfortable. Again, I'm not really a dancer, so I'm gonna have to update you guys on how this goes. But first, I'm going to head over to Midtown Village to go to Fruitables, which is one of my favorite places. So I'm gonna pick up a um, one with a little bit of Nutella, strawberries, blueberries, and pineapple, I believe, on it. So let's go. Oh my god, you guys. I'm gonna fix the lighting in here, I think. No, no, I won't. Okay, never mind. Hey guys, so I just got back from the class and it was seriously so much fun. It's like eight o'clock right now and I keep laughing because I'm not a dancer. Like, it was a, like, kind of the best way to describe it would be like sexy Zumba. And like I really felt like I was at the club dancing just now for like an hour um, It literally like I had so much fun like genuinely best highlight of my week I don't think I've laughed this much this entire semester so um, I'm so so glad that I ended up going to that class tonight because I really wasn't even originally planning on going and I'm super glad that this whole evening happened because that was freaking hilarious and um we just had like really fun songs to dance to and all these fun moves that i always see like beyonce doing like i felt very cool for that time so anyway um i'm back now i'm super dehydrated because i drank an entire bottle of water and i sweat so much because it was a real intense cardio so i'm gonna go inside and get some water and i'll talk to y'all there Hello guys, so as you can see I'm in my bed and I am going to work on a little bit of editing right now as you can see I have this book here, which is how to be Parisian wherever you are and it's a really cute one so I'm working on that and as you guys saw earlier I also made myself a little mug of this chamomile peppermint tea um, so I'm just sitting here chilling right now nothing too crazy or exciting um, but I'm just relaxing after my school day right now and I'm trying to be a little bit productive just um, do some readings get some work done that kind of thing and I yeah, I'm pretty much just ending the night right here. I'm returning to this little um, area right here to vlog, um, but I just wanted to chat real quick just because I feel like today's been really, really busy. But um, I did want to follow up with you guys regarding what I wanna do for my master's in my grad school um, slash uh, bachelor's plan at this moment I'm gonna go ahead and apply to the grad school see if I get into the program which I should um, and then once I'm there I can make a decision because um, I pretty much have until I register for classes for next fall to decide whether I want to finish and do my bachelor's or do the master's program but I'm just gonna go ahead and apply to the master's program now and if it's meant to be, I think that it will work out. I'm going to be praying about it. The power of prayer right now is like really big in my life. And um, I think that for me, just kind of trying to trust in God's plan and not try to put the pressure on myself to figure everything out is what I actually need to do. Um, and I feel in my heart that 
I don't need to come to my decision right now in this moment. Um, I do have a couple months to make this decision and so I'm just going to consider it. The master's program is an amazing opportunity um, and I want to do it and take advantage of it if that's the right decision for me. And so I am just going to think about it. But um, I do appreciate everybody's input. A lot of you guys gave me some really solid advice. So don't think that I'm taking that lightly. I really do appreciate it. Um, so that's kind of where I am with that. Honestly, I think that where I'm at with the semester is I'm just trying to be present um, I'm obviously a future oriented person, but because of that I put so much pressure to have myself together for the future but It's not the healthiest because it's sometimes I think that keeps me from living in the moment now and trying to make every single day the best that I can make that day instead of thinking so far in advance. And it's crazy because when I was abroad in Spain, everything that I always said was, don't worry about the future. Don't, you can't plan ahead. You can't do this. You can only live today. And I really need to always step back and take my own advice. Here at Alabama, I have a slightly different mindset than I did in Spain, obviously, but I don't want that to happen. I want to keep the mindset that I had in Spain because that was what made me the happiest. So um, yeah, where I'm at with that, I just want to, again, make every day here the best. And I already have made so many big changes in my semester. I'm really following up with the goals that I made for myself. I wanted to cook more, to keep my apartment clean, and to hang out with my friends as much as possible, to exercise almost every day, and I've done those things, and I'm really proud of myself. I feel like I'm getting a really nice balance in my schedule. I really do, but I really do think this is a big season of growth for me. I didn't expect it to be a season of growth because I was like, oh, I'm just going back to Alabama. Like, it'll be the same. But I do feel like I'm learning a lot about myself and I am hopefully growing in a good direction um, through this time. So yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to say on my, that's my little January end of January update uh, as far as school is and I'm still getting in the hang of vlogging again um, more frequently so I hope you guys are still liking the vlogs and I will talk to you guys in my next video very soon. Love you so much. Bye!